Hello fellow scientists. Today we're going to be a very specific type of scientist. We are going to be an entomologist and an entomologist is a scientist who studies insects. So in your kit this week you have some live insects. Does anybody know what these are? They are mealworms and the funny thing about mealworms is they aren't actually worms. They are baby darkling beetles or darkling beetle larva. So they will eventually grow into beetles, which is pretty cool. And if you keep these long enough, you can watch them go through their life cycle. So if you would go ahead and notice on the top of your container, there's some air holes there so that the worms can breathe, but we're going to go ahead and start um, looking closer at these worms and seeing what they do and how we can observe them. So I'm going to move my camera here and I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do. So you will need a plate or a tray of some kind that you can spread your worms out on. We're going to be putting some food on here for our worms. Um, so yeah, go ahead and grab something that you can get dirty and it won't really matter too much. Okay, so very gently, I'm going to just kind of wiggle my little worms out onto the plate. And you'll notice something about mealworms. They're kind of lazy. So they don't do a ton of moving, but you can see them do a little bit of wriggling, maybe rolling around. They're pretty neat little creatures. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my bag of oatmeal. And fun fact, Mealworms love oatmeal because they can eat it, they can get their water from it, what? and they can survive their entire life on just two scoops of oatmeal. But we're going to give them a little bit of variety today. So we have the oatmeal there for them, and you also have some potatoes. We're going to go ahead and put a potato on here. Now, uh, mealworms like potatoes, squash, apples, oatmeal, like I said, um, they're not really picky, but they like all of those things. And eventually, when they become adult darkling beetles, they like to lay their eggs in moist vegetables and fruits, like potatoes. So we're just going to kind of watch them for a little bit. I want you to think about how you can use your senses to observe. So. I gave each of you a hand lens. Remember, you don't hold the hand lens up to your eye to see better. You hold it close to the object that you want to see better. So if you hold it pretty close to your worm, you can start to see the segments on your worm's body. Can you see any legs? Can you tell which end is the head? <gasps> I see some legs. Oh my goodness. So that's why these are not actually worms, because worms don't have legs. These guys do. So, like I said, watch them. How are they moving? What do they look like? Can you smell them? Let's go ahead and smell them. Hmm, maybe they smell like feet? I don't know. You tell me. What do they smell like? You can touch them, yes. You can hold them gently. Yeah. Very cool. They kind of have like a harder shell on them. I'm not really keen on holding them too much, but you might be braver than me. So something funny about mealworms, you can eat them. However, these particular mealworms have been handled multiple times, so I would not recommend eating these ones. Um, your mealworms are going to go through their life cycle. Like I said, if you um, watch them, you will notice that eventually these larvae, their um, body will turn into goo, and then they will take the shape of a pupa, which is like a very small beetle. So it'll look like a very small beetle, and then it'll eventually grow into an adult um, darkling beetle. So you can see this guy over here, he's pretty active. I think he smells the oatmeal, and maybe he's trying to get over there to do a little bit of eating. So I'm going to go ahead and move some oatmeal over there to him. 
So he wants to take a bite. So if you decide that you want to keep your mealworms and you want to watch them go through their life cycle, that is awesome. You can keep them in the container I gave you. If you want to build a bigger habitat for your mealworms, you can totally do that. So I have some examples here. You can use a recycled uh, food container. I have a container here that had dog food in it. So whatever you decide, if you want to build a bigger habitat, make sure that you always give your habitat air holes. So I have a tack here and I want to make sure that my mealworms will have plenty of fresh air to breathe. So I'm going to probably keep my mealworms and watch them go through their life cycle in this container. So in their habitat, you're going to want to make sure that they have something to eat. Now, they don't need any extra water because they get their water from their food, which is like potatoes or oatmeal, or like I said, apples or squash. You can try different things with them. Um, if you notice that in your habitat or in your container, if the lid starts to get foggy, that means that not, not enough air is getting through and you're going to need to poke more holes. If you don't, your oatmeal will get moldy and your mealworms will probably die. So make sure you're keeping an eye on um, any moisture that might be collecting on the lid of your habitat. Okay. So another thing about mealworms is they make great pets. They don't bark. They don't tear up the couch. They don't steal your food. <laughs> and they don't make a mess on the floor. So you can put your habitat safely on a shelf or in a drawer. Um, and they'll happily just go through their life cycle. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, this one's starting to wake up. He's like, hmm, I'm done napping. Um, so don't worry about your mealworms running out of food. Like I said, they can survive on simply two scoops of oatmeal for their entire life. So don't worry about that. And don't worry about them crawling out of their habitat. They are not adventurous enough to crawl away from their food source. And like I said, they're pretty lazy. So don't worry about them crawling out the holes in your container. The holes are probably not big enough anyway. Um, sometimes you'll notice your mealworms might get buried in the oatmeal. Um, that's okay too. They like to do that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, don't worry if they're just lying there. They're just lazy. Little lazy mealworms getting ready to turn into pupa. So it's just so fun to observe. Okay. So once you've done some observing and whatnot and you decided to build your habitat, fine. Um, there are some things that you can do with your mealworm specimens. Um, you can let them just sit in the container until they die of old age. Upgrade to the larger habitat like I suggested. You can give them to a science teacher or a friend who might be interested. Um, you can feed the worms to a reptile, a bird, or a rodent. You can research recipes and whip up a snack. Oh my goodness, I think only the brave people would do that. Um, please do not release them into the local environment because we're not sure of the impact that they could have on our environment. So those are some options of things that you can do with your mealworms. So I want to tell you some very interesting, mind-blowing facts as we're watching our worms wriggle around. The Earth could be called Planet of the Beetles. And it could be called that because humans do not even come close to having the same number of individuals. One-fourth one of all living creatures on Earth are beetles. What? So here's another way to think about that. If you took every animal on earth from a tiny little flea up to a big blue whale and put them in a single file line, every fourth animal would be a beetle. Beetles come in all shapes and sizes and they include ladybugs and June bugs. Beetles have no bones. Instead, they have an exoskeleton. It is the outer shell or covering that protects their bodies. So like we have bones inside of our bodies, the beetles have 
a, a shell or an exoskeleton, kind of like a, like our skeleton, but it's outside of their body. Beetles are arthropods. Arthur means joint and pod means leg or foot. So beetles have jointed legs and they fall into the arthropod group with all other insects, crustaceans. <gasps> What's a crustacean? Like a shrimp or a crab. Those are crustaceans. And spiders. To be an arthropod, you need jointed legs and an exoskeleton. Humans have jointed legs, but our bones are inside, so we are not arthropods. <laughs> like I said, mealworms are edible. They have lots of good protein and are much more efficient and sustainable food than beef or pork. Sometimes they're flavored like potato chips but they can also be included in stir fry, baked goods, or dipped in chocolate. Ooh, I might try them if they were dipped in chocolate. Many cultures eat insects, and it's likely that insects will become more accepted into cultures that didn't initially embrace them. So maybe you're brave and you want to pick up your own mealworms and have a snack. Let me know if you do and how tasty they are. Thank you for joining me for this edition of our Maker Kit demonstration. Have fun with your mealworms. Let me know if you are able to watch them go through their life cycle. So much fun. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time.